The masonry arched viaduct that is the English bridge crosses the River Severn in Shrewsbury, Shropshire. The Grade II listed bridge as seen today is a 1926 rebuilt and widened structure that uses the original masonry from John Gwynne's completed design of 1774. A bridge is known to have stood at this location since at least Norman times and historically was known as a stone bridge. The original Norman construction consisted of five arches and a timber causeway. It had a large tower on the eastern bank that housed a gate and drawbridge and supported a number of shops and houses. The building of Gwynne's £16,000 replacement commenced in 1769 and comprised of seven semicircular arches, 400 feet long. The 55 foot span central arch was built higher to provide headroom for boats, but unfortunately this resulted in steep approaches. To resolve the issue, a new design was approved in 1921 that lowered all the arches, converting the central one into a segmental arch and reducing the height of the roadway by 5 feet. The present bridge is 50 feet wide and more than twice the width of Gwynne's original structure. The cost of this build was £86,000 and it was formally opened by Queen Mary in 1927. The English Bridge is one of the two that forms the main east-west route over the Severn as it loops around Shrewsbury, the other being the Welsh Bridge on the opposite side of the town, and despite its name, both bridges lie within the English border. Thomas Telford's Hollyhead Road dating from 1815 and connecting London to the main sea crossing to Ireland used the English bridge to cross the Severn here. The A5 now bypasses Shrewsbury and therefore the bridge's main role today is to connect the centre of Shrewsbury with Bellevue and the Abbey Forgate areas of the town. The Shrewsbury United Reformed Church and its distinctive spire is at the eastern end of the English Bridge. In 1862 it was decided to expand the congregational cause in Shrewsbury by building a new memorial chapel that will be an ornament to that part of the town. A site was purchased in Abbey Forgate for £750 along with the temporary buildings that could be used as a church. The chapel was built at a cost of £6,000 and took a year to complete, eventually opening in 1864. It had a seating for 900 worshippers and is the only non-conformist chapel in the town to feature a spire. 